So one problem that comes up in nearly every project I build is my efficiency. Because frankly, wood is expensive and I don't want to waste any because it's basically wasting money. So whenever I start a project, I always start by asking myself the question, how can I cut this board up to maximise its use? And the way I solve that question, or the way I answer that question, is not very efficient at all. If I plan my project by drawing it on paper, I'll also tend to draw a scale diagram of a sheet of ply and scale panels and will literally move them about to find the best fit. It is very low tech, but it does work. It's very slow though. If I design the project using SketchUp, I have a couple of options. I can use the free cut list plugin to lay out my panels, but I've never gotten good results from it. In SketchUp, I can also create a duplicate of my model and then I can drag the panels about until they fit on a virtual sheet. And that does work, but it's pretty much the same as the paper method, it just means that I don't make a mess. It's extra work, it's still too slow, and frankly, I'm still not making good use of the material. The best way would be having the computer quickly go through and analyse all the panels, and then come up with a cut list that's easy to read, manipulate, and cut. There are a few programs like this available. They range from free and not very useful, to very expensive and probably awesome, but I'll never know because I'm not going to spend 100 bucks on one. So I decided enough was enough and started writing my own program to do exactly what I wanted it to do. It's in the final stages of development and here you go. So here is the main window and this is the portable toolbar. You use this to add panels and sheets to your projects. Um, you can also open up projects from a text file. So I've already got one here, it's an underbed storage unit and I'll also add a plywood sheet to work on. Now you can click and drag each panel if you like and place them on your sheet yourself or you can hit the auto sort button and have the program place the panels for you. Each time you click it you get a new layout. Every layout is designed in the same way so that you can first cut the sheet into strips and then you trim each panel down to size. If you don't like a layout in particular you can manipulate the panels yourself. I have the curve set to 6mm, about half an inch. You can change it to whatever you like. Here I'm going to change it to about an inch. So now when I auto sort it, you can see that the panels have more space around them. It's especially great for batching projects out. Let's say I wanted to make three of these units. I've already got all the panels here for three of them. All I need to do is hit the auto sort button a few times and I can see how to get three of these cabinets cut out of only two sheets of plywood. So as you can see this program has really got the potential to save you a lot of money. Um, it's already saved a lot of work and money for me so I think it's very very useful but I'm probably biased. Now there are only three settings in the program at the moment. I really wanted to keep this as easy to use as possible and I figured the fewer the settings the easier the use is. Um, but having said that, if there's a feature or setting in here that needs to be here, let me know so that I can have a look about adding it. I haven't shown you everything in this video. Uh, once it's released, you'll be able to enter all your dimensions in metric, decimal imperial or fractional imperial. Um, you'll be able to add remove boards, save layouts, save cut lists. Um, you'll also be able to add panels and sheets that have different thicknesses. So when you hit the auto sort button, it will place the panel on the correct sheet. You'll be able to print out the diagrams and the cut list so that you can take them into the shop and work off of them, or you can export the images to your phone so that you can view it on your phone. So if you are interested or you think other people might be that might not see it, please like and share the video and uh, that way we'll get some more feedback on it and I'll know what it needs. And make sure you subscribe too so that when I release it you know how to get it. In the meantime, if you want to know more about Fitit, head to thewoodfather.com, there'll be a link down below and I'll have some more information on there for you.